Bible. Okay? And that's at the core of his belief. Is that he believed that all the translations are faulty. Right? He believes there's mistakes in every one of them. Where did he get that doctrine? As a Christian, where did he get his doctrine? He got it from a Bible, a Bible college, a seminary, a commentary. He got it from some TV guy or somebody. But he did not get his doctrinal statement from the Scripture. He needs two witnesses, and he doesn't have any. Okay? So I'll just tell you, go ahead and finish what you were saying now. Let me, give you, let me give you a verse, okay? We're going to just line upon line, precept upon precept. None of them are inspired. Um, 2 Timothy. All Scripture is given by inspiration of God. It didn't say was. It says is right now. And I want to tell you something. If the Holy Ghost does not breathe when this book is read, you're not saved. If the Holy Ghost does not breathe, that's, that's what God breathe means. Inspiration. Spirit. If the Holy Ghost... If uh, Pastor Penberth is up here and he's preaching his guts out, he's preaching you must be saved to enter the kingdom of God, he is doing so by inspiration of the Holy Ghost. And he's reading from this old book right here. And if he's preaching this old book, the Holy Ghost is knocking on your heart saying, you need to be saved, you're a lost sinner, you're going to go to hell. Amen? Okay? But the Holy Ghost will only breathe... In the presence of an incorruptible book, all Scripture is given by inspiration of God. Okay, now, finish. The one that I didn't know what to say to him was also was, he said, well, you think you're reading the 1611 version, but there's really like some other ones that, you know, up to 17... I should have brought mine. I've got a 1611 King James Bible. It's a reprint by Thomas Nelson, okay? I can stand up here and I can, pre I can preach every one of these verses I've had on the screen out of that 1611... It's exactly the same. The difference is, in the, in the earlier printings, they made typographical errors and spelling deals. Okay? But the words, I can read to you Isaiah 40, uh, 53 about Christ, and I can read to you every word in that 1611 Bible, and it would look and sound exactly the same as it looks in your Bible right now. Don't, I used to go around telling people that same lie. I say, I know all the lies, because they used to tell them. Okay? And I'm telling you that it's the same Bible. Okay, when they start telling you that, oh no, they, they changed all the words and you, you couldn't even understand that book back then, I passed that around like it was true and I didn't know it. My wife got me a 1611 Bible and I went, wow. It's the same. In the beginning was the Word and the Word was with God and the Word was God and the Word became, I mean, it's the same book. Okay? So what are the, what are the typos that are different? I mean, what's an example of that? Um, in one place in the Psalms where it says God, it should say good or vice versa, I don't remember, things like that. You know, they hand put type backwards on a plate, okay? And so typographical errors were made at that time, okay? Yes, sir, in the back. So the J-dubs, too. They're really good. And then they, I mean, they mix it all up. And if you don't know what you're looking at or what they're using, I mean, if you know what you're using, really mess you up. I got a biblical answer for that. You believe that? Okay. Um, I don't believe in my own wisdom because I don't have any. Uh, 1 Peter chapter 2. Listen to this now. Ye also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Wherefore it also it is contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Believers are not confused. Okay? Unto you therefore which believe he is precious. Is this Bible precious to you? Listen, I won't live without this Bible. But unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the same as made the head of the corner, and a stone of stumbling, and a rock of offense. God, there are stumbling stone verses in this book. You will think, and I'm going to give you two simple rules. Rule number one, there are no mistakes in the Bible. That's scriptural, and I can give you scripture to back it up. Rule number two, if you think you found one, refer to rule number one. 
Okay? The reason why people trip over the Scriptures is because they're disobedient. That's exactly right. Amen. God is not a man that he should lie. Yes, sir. They, they bred the philosophy that exists in seminaries and theology schools and in most pulpits in this country is that the Bible is subject to the change of the, of the man reading it in original languages. That it is subject, the Bible is subject to the man and not the man subject to the Bible. They, they are the ones who really got that going in this country. And I want to tell you something. I've been on the other side and I don't like it. They were going to seances, if that tells you anything. Westcott and Hort were not Christian men. And they handled the Word of God deceitfully is what they did. They had it as their, their goal and intention to change the Bible. But they couldn't. Oh, they changed a version of it. But this King James still exists. Why? Because it's incorruptible. One more and then, yes ma'am. Yeah, the priest anointed his thumb with blood, okay? And think about a hand without a thumb. What can you do with it? Jesus said, without me, ye can do. And there's two bones here. Why? He's the Word of God. Old Testament, New Testament. He came first time. He's coming. Isn't that, isn't that neat? <laughs> Sounds like God had everything... He didn't need us. Amen. <laughs> David, go ahead. Uh, do you want to uh, break now or do you want to and, and break for lunch or do you want to go for an, uh, another segment and then break for lunch? Do I look like I don't need lunch? <laughs> <laughs> right, Let's eat some lunch. Let's break for lunch. We'll come back.